Hello, I'm Sig Solo. Welcome to my channel and welcome to this shave. Today's razor is a modern classic, you might say. It's the Rex Supply Ambassador Razor in the standard configuration. Uh, brushed head uh, and not polished and not rhodium plated or anything gold plated. The standard version uh, from from the knob and down 62 millimeters all the way from the base plate and down 82 millimeters 106 grams and one of the best grips at all on any razor this handle is perfect de monto um, i forgot to put a blade in so i'll do that now the it goes from one to six one is 0.30 uh, and 6 is 1.30 so that is wh where you have it I don't usually do this but I, <laughs> I'm on a holiday so I forgot to put the blade in I'm sorry here you have the blade I'm using the super iridium um, on its second use so this is how it looks. I will be using it on two and a half. Uh, that's about there. I don't know if you see the dot. I don't in the in the screen. But there you have it, two and a half. So that's about. Uh, that's about. I don't know, uh, but I'm guessing that's about somewhere between 0.70 and 0.80. But I don't know there about. Um, so. That's it, isn't it? No, it's not. The soap is a sample that Lou, my brother from another mother in Canada, very kindly sent to me. It's the Taylor of Old Bond Street Rose. And he sent me <laughs> a third of a top or something like that. So Lou, thank you very much for sending me that. The brush is my rich man shaving uh, golden nugget uh, brush with the silver tip, the S2 silver tip in it. And the ball is my Capstan's Choice Obsidian Cover Ball. There you have them together. Okay, so let's get this party started. Oh yeah. This soap has from uh, the sample in the container there a very strong uh, rosy rose petal you know if you take some fresh roses uh, and crush them in your hand this is the scent you get and lathered up that's about the same so very rose petal ish um, and very strong I would say this is maybe a seven and a half or an eight, or an eight. Um, it's not my favorite scent. Uh, I'm not that much into florals, but this reminds me of a nice summer's day uh, in my grandmother's garden when I was a kid. Uh, you know, so this is one of the florals that I actually enjoy. Uh, it's not a scent I would have bought myself, I think. Uh, because I usually avoid all the florals, but as I like the Velvet Rose uh, soap from Yachi, uh, I thought, well, maybe this is in that realm, realm that, you know, within that. So, anyway, standard Rex Ambassador on a two and a half uh, with the Visimet on its second use. Okay. So this is one of those fingertip razors for me because the handle is too short for my big hand. See? See where it is? I could hold it there, but I don't. I just hold it with my fingertips. And the great knurling on the handle makes that easy. So no problem. Really nice. I don't know 
I don't, I, they don't put out the numbers for exposure, but it feels like it has a little, you know, like the Aylesworth or something like that. Um, maybe a 0.125 millimeter exposure. Oh yeah, I had a big sit there, I don't know if you noticed, or ingrown hair, whatever it is, it's been bugging me since the last year. So, I tried to kill it, I tried to finish it, it wouldn't cooperate, so. I know that there is a lot of commotion, about another razor from Arizona. And a lawsuit pending or legal work, so I won't go into that. At all. So. Let's leave it to the lawyers. To decide whether or not. I did pay, it, uh, I did uh, purchase the razor. And then I didn't know anything about anything. And then I saw online a lot of commotion. And I thought, well, I'll wait for the legal action and stuff so I won't show it and I won't mention the name of it if you follow shaving online in forums um, you know of which way racer I speak so there is that but this is the real deal it has been made, I think, from around 2017. So that's why I call it a modern classic because it's been around for more than five years. Uh, I believe the first version of it uh, was a bit more aggressive or efficient than this one. I don't know. Mine is a P, so it's not the first version. A P3. So, has the serial number and the median in America and all that at the bottom. So, I had a three days of stubble when I started, and I would say um, on two and a half, well, let's turn it a little down actually, on two or one and a half, let's see how that goes. One and a half. You see that? I don't know if you go. For the against the growth. Pass. Yeah. That tamed it a little. Still shape, still shaving, still blade feel. But maybe a uh, point four five gap something like that I don't know I just know it's between point thirty and point one point thirty millimeter of a gap from one to six at least that's what's on the side so but on one and a half or maybe a one I could see this being an everyday razor for me, but above one and a half, I would say it's not too much blade. Too much efficiency. For my preferences. So 
but a nice racer and built like it's Hank, you know, nine centimeters in all, thereabout, uh, and 106 grams. Uh, 316L stainless steel and this is an heirloom razor. I just checked because I had to go and find the, the gaps. Uh, it's around 295 American dollars on Rick Supply Co's page. So, there you have it. I have hairs in all directions down here, so I need to, you know, I don't know if you hear it. Okay, so there it was. Wonderful razor. And as I think it's the first one to be all stainless steel. Uh, it is of course made after the Gibbs number 15 I think it is, or is it 16? The Gibbs razor, uh, because the mechanism and stuff like that looks a lot like it. So In my next shave I will be using the Heritage Collection. Gibbs homage, the one, the XL one. So that's my next TV. So, but see, that feels nice. I don't know if you see it, but it's really, really nice. And as I said, for the aftershave, I'm using the Velvet Rose from Yachi, uh, made by with rose water and witch hazel. So. It's very suitable. A dupe of Joe Malone's Velvet Rose has that milky, kind of milky color to it. And a more cologne scent, I would say. Not as rose petal-y as the soap. So, but, but a nice one added. I like, I like the cologne twist on this. Rest on the elbows. Are you ready? Okay. Uh, so, sound test. Perfect, Mundo. Like, subscribe, hit the bell, and share. And you know why we do this? We do this because we are not obsessed. We are dedicated. Six solo out.